Yo guys, it's your boy Gohan Black Gaming, and today I am back with another UFC simulation and predictions video for tonight's card. And uh, we got some other combat sports on tonight as well, uh, which is Jake Paul and Ben Askren. But um, I'm doing a simulation card for Whitaker and uh, Robert Whitaker and Calvin Gastelum, which is uh, tonight's uh, card. <clears throat> so they are going to be in the main event, and I'm going to be giving my prediction of who I think is going to win. Um, the media is leaning heavy, heavily towards um, Robert Whitaker, um, you know, for good reason. You know, he's the former champion. You know, he's won two of his last three outings. This is his third. Um, but um, with a with a third victory tonight, he would. Secure a number one contender spot to get the title shot, you know, against Israel. So the media is have uh, they're leaning heavily towards um, Rob, but um, I'm gonna go with Kelvin just because you know, like he's a sleeper, and um, they said his uh, his attributes is wrestling. I think he's quite balanced. Um, Rob, his attributes is balanced too, so I watched a bit of their highlights before I started recording, just to get a reminder. Uh, oh, excuse me. Uh, oh, gosh, excuse me again. Just to get a reminder, like, of how they fight and stuff. Um, Kelvin is quite, I mean, I'm, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna talk about that when we, when we start. But both guys are quite good on the feet. Um, I'm expecting it to go all five rounds. I'm expecting all five rounds, but, um, if, you know, if, if, um, if Kelvin is able to establish, like, his, you know, his timing, you know, get his timing right, you know, he's got a knockout win over Michael Bisping, I didn't, um, I just learned that recently. Like, he's got a, a couple knockout wins, but Kelvin has never been knocked out, like, finished in his career. So, I don't think, I don't think Rob is going to be able to knock him out, in my opinion, honestly. I don't think Rob's going to be able to knock Kelvin out. Like, and he hasn't, even Israel wasn't able to knock him out, and Israel knocked out Rob. You know, is, Israel has fought both of these guys, you know, um... Izzy was Izzy wasn't able to finish um, Kelvin, so you know that just proves like how good his chin is. So I don't think Rob is gonna be able to knock him out, but I think it's gonna come down to like points and who's gonna be able to land the bigger shots. That's my honest opinion, but um, like uh, unlikely scenario, a knockout, Kelvin Gastelum getting a knockout. That's probably unlikely, but like I said, you know, if he's able to get Rob's timing, I do think he could be able to get a knockout, maybe. You know, Rob has been knocked out before. Hasn't been often in his career. You know, it's been against some, um, like, top-level guys, of course, you know, like Israel, and um, he's got another, like, knockout loss. He's got, like, two knockout losses on his record, so not very many for Robert. But um, I, I I'm expecting uh, I'm expecting five rounds. I'm expecting <clears throat> five rounds, honestly. So that's my prediction. I got Kelvin by the winning on points, maybe like 30-27 or something like that, or 29-28. Probably 29-28. No wait. It's not nah, wait. 50, 40, 50, 45, excuse me, or 50, 49, no, 50, 48, I think that's the right scoring for five round <laughs> fights, excuse me, oh, another thing, I didn't note as well about Kelvin, um, he's got some grappling, you know, he's got, I, they, um, they put his attributes as wrestling in the game, so, I def definitely think he could uh, definitely implement some grappling if, you know, if it starts getting too hairy on the feet. I'm going to try and do some grappling with Kelvin. 
Oh, he denies my. That denies my shit. Not good. He's actually fighting like Robert right now. It's kind of funny. He does land an occasional high kick. He does mix in a high kick or a left. He has a sneaky. Robert Whitaker has a sneaky left hook at times. Not bad, not bad. So like I said, I'm expecting five rounds, honestly. It's gonna I think in my in my honest opinion <clears throat> my throat is dry, holy shit. Hold on. Excuse me. I think in my honest opinion, it's gonna come down to who's gonna be able to land the bigger shots. So, he landed some good shots on me there. Oh. Ooh. He's landing some big shots on me right now, so I gotta try and, you know, mix it up. Ah, oh, shit, he caught me with a knee as I was coming in for a takedown. Maybe I should. Not bad, not bad. Hope you guys enjoyed yesterday's UFC video. Uh oh. Wait a minute. Like I said, if Kelvin is able to get his timing right, I think he could he might be able to get a knockout win. Maybe. Hasn't been a, hasn't been very often in his career, but I I you know I wouldn't doubt it. You know, Kelvin is a sleeper. And he's now Robert's bleeding right now. I don't I don't think this will happen. Like I said, I'm expecting five rounds. But if Kelvin is able to catch him, he could get him big. He could catch Rob big. And I totally could see it coming. You know, like I said, the media's been trying to write yo know, Kelvin off, so he's probably got something to prove tonight. Rob's hurt. He's defending my takedowns quite well. Defends it again. Maybe this is all gonna come down to stand up because usually when the other guy is able to deny me like this, takedown wise, like in these simulation videos, it's usually because their stand up, their takedown defense is quite good. But I'm able to land a takedown finally. Rob is hurt right now. I land, I caught him big. He caught me big. Caught me a couple times early in the round. That uppercut hook combo, nice. Kelvin's got some good, like I said, Kelvin's got some pretty good stand up. I think it's all, I think it's gonna come down to who's gonna be able to land the bigger shots though. Preliminaries don't start until 7 o'clock. It's like 3 right now, I'm pretty sure. Gotta let myself recover for a little bit.
Robert gets me big. Oh, try to get him on the overhand. Oh, it gets me again. Not good. Oh, shit. I'm not wrestling enough. That's probably why. I'm trying. Oh, not good. There we go. And you know, Kelvin's got a few rear naked choke fin finishes, but we're gonna go for a bulldog choke. If he's able to establish his ground game, you know, work inside Rob's guard, he could also get a sub. I, I also didn't rule that out for Kelvin as well. Get a sub. I'll try to just wear down the clock a little bit. Try to get inside control, beat him up a little bit. Finish it on guard. We're going into round four now, right? Oh, yeah. I completely didn't even talk about the other fights coming up. So we got 261 next week. Which is Jorge, Masvidal 2, Rose Namajunas, and Wei Li Zhang. Oh my god, that fight. I might have to do a simulation for that fight. Just because of the controversy that has arose. Oh my, oh, oh my god. Oh my gosh. And Valentina is defending her belt too. I forgot who she's fighting. But it's round four. Finishes on bottom. Calvin with a TKO. Oh, I don't know, man. Like I said, I think it's gonna come down to who's gonna be able to land the bigger shots. But I could, I could probably see Kelvin getting a knockout if he's able to catch Rob. You know, with it, you know. He's able to catch him enough times, you know, able to get his timing right on him. I could see it happening. Kelvin has not been knocked out in his career before. I think it would be hard. He's quite tough. He's quite tough. I think it would be hard to knock him out. Even, like I said, even Israel could knock him out. And Israel's the champion. So... <clears throat> Like I said, I think Kelvin's got something to prove. He's going to be trying to um, bring himself back. You know, he hasn't, he's had some pretty close fights. Um, he had a close fight with Darren Till, went to split decision. But uh, he's got a heel hook submission loss to Jack Hermanson. And um, he's got a win, like a decision win. I saw some highlights from that. Um, I think it was pretty good. Um, let's see. It's 3.30. Uh, let's just do one with uh, Rob. Let's do one with Rob. What shorts do I think he's going to wear? I thought Rob wears Valley Tudo shorts, not board shorts. Um, what do I think he's going to wear? Very well could wear the white ones. So... Kelvin, though, I think he's gonna. He might be wearing green. So, 
for Rob, um, Rob's got good stand up. You know, he's got some pretty good grappling skills too. Um, you know, he's got, he's no, he knows how to um, establish timing. You know, work distance pretty well. So, I think, like I said, this is gonna come down to points. Who's gonna be able to land the bigger and better shots? So let's do simulation with Rob now, and then we'll end the video so I can get this joint posted for you guys. Oh, missed a head kick. Oh! He does mix in a head kick occasionally. Does Robert's a kickboxer. He's really a kickboxer, not really just a, just a boxer, but he knows how to work those angles, and um, he can box pretty well. Oh, wait, I think Gastelum's on my AI still. <laughs> He's using Robert Whitaker. I forgot to take it off. Uh, Robert Whitaker. <laughs> I'll leave it on. Ooh, he ducks the head kick. Might try it on the left side next time. Got him. Nice head kick uppercut combo. Blocked. Uppercut hook combo. I missed a straight. Like, like, glance right past his head. Here we go with the hook, uppercut, hook. Oh, I was gonna try a head kick, but he caught me. Oh, blocked that that time. Superman, bang. You know, Darren Till and Robert. I thought Darren Till was gonna beat Robert Whitaker, you know, but he's able to <clears throat> work those angles well. You know, he was able to. And beat Darren on points. I, I think I watched that one live. Ooh. Yeah, yeah, I watched that fight actually. I'm landing pretty big right now. 37 seconds left in the round. Uh, I think I got that round. Glancing head kick. Catches him over the hook. And a body kick. <clears throat> so we're on round two now. Uh, what did I get to finish in round four? Oh. Robert gets it, tries for a takedown. Calvin catches me big there.
Do you think Robert Whitaker deserves a win? I mean, deserves a title shot over Marvin Vittori? I don't... Hmm. I mean, it'd be interesting. You know, Robert's the former champion, you know, but... Slip side again. Or do you think Marvin Vittori and Robert Whitaker should fight? And then maybe whoever wins that gets the definite title shot against Izzy. Caught him slipping. Ooh, pops me in the face. Need to check some of these light kicks. Oh, and he catches me! I haven't heard either guy, like, try and say, like, oh, like, what kind of finish they'll be trying to go for. So... Drop. Get him up. I don't want to finish him. At least not yet. Oh, cussed me a couple times. <laughs> we was going back and forth there that round. Pink. But I, I got this round back because I, oh, I'm pretty sure we dropped each other twice. But I think I got that round though, pretty sure. We're in round three now. Slipping me right now. Things happening. He slipped me. Oh, finally! Let's try to implement some wrestling. I might get a head. I might knock him out. He's his head's blinking right now. There we go. Ah, uh, I don't know if Robert Whittaker is going to be able to finish Kelvin Gastelum. You know, but if he's got, you know, if he's got something to prove, what if he does get a knockout finish? Be kind of crazy. Be kind of crazy. But that knockout was pretty nice, though. I timed that perfectly. Mm -hmm. 
shot that nigga with the uppercut. <laughs> Uh, so there is my official prediction for the fight, honestly. I think it's going to come down on points between both guys. But I wouldn't rule out a knockout or submission finish for Kelvin. Like, late in the fight, like round four or five. Like, a, like I wouldn't rule him out. I wouldn't rule out Kelvin getting a, a rear naked choke finish in round five. Or I wouldn't rule out uh, Kelvin getting a knockout finish in like round three or something if he gets uh, Rob's timing down. Let's suck at that knockout again. Bang! That shit's tough. Oh, let's look at that. Let's look at that one more time. Bang, nigga. Boom. Nah, that shit's tough. <sighs> Super tough. Alright. So, let's line them up and then give my closing thoughts. Kelvin. Robert. All right. So, like I said, um, I wouldn't rule out either of those finishes. I think ultimately, though, it's going to come down to points and who's going to land the bigger and better shots. You know, um, Kelvin, I, I might he might implement some wrestling. I wouldn't really be surprised if he does. Um, is it mostly going to stay on the feet? Probably, yeah. But it, there, there's gonna be some. I ex, I expect to see some grappling, you know, if it starts to, if it starts to get uh, too hairy for Kelvin. <clears throat> so um, that is my prediction for the fight. I got it. Uh, I got Kelvin by points. Um, that's um. I I got Kelvin by points, but I also wouldn't be surprised if Kelvin won by knockout. Or uh, submission. I also wouldn't be surprised if Robert Whitaker got a um, decision win. But I don't think, honestly, in my opinion, I don't think Robert Whitaker is going to be able to knock out Kelvin Gastelum. Just because, like I said, Izzy wasn't even able to knock him out. You know? So, um, there is my prediction for the fight. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, we got UFC 261 next week, so I'll be doing a simulation video for that. Um, please leave a like on this video. Um, comment who you think is going to win. Also, um, fucking Ben Askren and Jake Paul. Uh, it's going to be tough, honestly. Um, the media, the, the, it's heavily favored. It's leaning towards Ben now, actually. It's kind of funny. Everybody was, a lot of people still say Jake Paul. But in the beginning, a lot of people were saying, like, oh, Jake Paul is going to knock him out. I don't know, dude. I honestly, I don't know. Like, if, like, you know, Ben Askren has gone up against some high-level competition. Like, high-level, like, you know what I'm saying? So, it's, I don't think Jake could knock him out. I, I don't know. But, um, shit, Ben Askren by points. <laughs> That's my prediction for that fight. So, hope you guys enjoyed this. Um, please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I hope you guys enjoyed this. I'm going to get this video um, edited up as soon as I can. And uh, peace out, you guys. Enjoy.